Today we are drawing Battle Beast the Scourge of the Twin Galaxies, and he is honestly my favorite character in the Invincible series. But before we jump into that, guys, I want to thank you for your time and attention. Just by watching these videos, you help this channel tremendously. So again, thank you. Now, Battle Beast's true name is Thok. He is an amazing Leonin warrior. That is to say, he's kind of a cat-humanoid hybrid type alien. Battle Beast made his first appearance in the pages of Invincible in issue 19, published by Image Comics in July 2004. Now, the story of Invincible is truly a coming-of-age story, with the main character, Mark Grayson, who is an alien from what's known as the Viltrumite Empire, and he has some crazy superhuman powers. But all Mark wants to do is live a normal life and be a hero, and has taken on the superhero name Invincible, hence the name of the series. And if you haven't been watching the Amazon series Invincible, well, you are missing out. And just by the way, there are probably gonna be some spoilers ahead. So just be prepared. Now within the Invincible story, they introduce literally hundreds of amazing characters with amazing backstories. And Battle Beast is just one of them. Battle Beast was born on the planet Dorne, and he has an over-the-top lust for combat. To say it consumes his life is a gross understatement. His entire existence is to find the next battle and die an honorable death. Little sidebar here, and I don't know if the Amazon series creators intended this, but it's a great little Easter egg if they did. Now, it might be coincidental that Thok's homeworld is the planet Dorne, and the voice actor in the animated series just happens to be the gifted Michael Dorn, aka Lieutenant Worf, Star Trek Next Generation. Yes, my inner nerd just loves this. But at any rate, Thok grows up in a war-torn planet and quickly establishes himself as the ultimate force to be dealt with. He becomes so powerful, he actually brings peace to the planet. And in doing so, he kind of becomes a bit of a messiah type for his people. Loved, feared, and in a small way, kind of worshipped. Let that soak in for a minute. He becomes so deadly that entire armies would choose to surrender rather than meet him in combat. But really, that's just what Thok does. It's just insane. Now, you would think that bringing peace to a planet would quench his appetite for destruction. No, it does just the opposite. It pushes him to travel to new planets, seeking their greatest warriors. And in doing so, he ends up conquering those planets. And again, all he wants to do is die in combat. Watch it there, your Klingon showing. Now, let's talk about his powers and abilities for just a bit. He is obviously incredibly strong, with an unknown upper limit to his strength, super speed and agility, as well as enhanced regeneration, along with increased stamina, durability, and resilience. He's so durable, in fact, that he can survive indefinitely in the vacuum of space. He is a master in armed and unarmed combat. And as you might expect, being a Leonin, all his senses are turned up to 11, able to detect the smallest changes in his surroundings. Oh, and he also just happens to be in possession of a personal teleporter, powerful enough to teleport across galaxies. Wish I had one of those for some of my ex-girlfriends. Not important. What's important is by the time he's introduced in the comic book, he boasts to have conquered over a thousand worlds. He becomes so powerful, in fact, that the mere mention of his name makes empires tremble. It is also worth mentioning that he suffers kind of a curse, and not the typical wizard or supernatural curse, but almost a self-imposed exile that he refuses to return home or to truly rest until his magnus opus of combat is completed. Now, even with all these abilities, it turns out he actually can't fly, which is a huge disadvantage when he's fighting other aliens that, well, can fly. Now, in his first appearance in the comics, he's made a deal with a criminal mastermind known as Machine Head. 
And what's important to know about Machine Head is that he is a cybernetically enhanced genius criminal cyborg. And what he's done is he's made a deal with Battle Beast that if and when he finds a suitable opponent, aka someone standing in Machine Head's way, that he would summon him to Earth and essentially do Machine Head's dirty work. And it is at this point that Invincible gets his first taste of the kind of power Battle Beast wields. Sorry again, a little bit of spoilers here, but Invincible just doesn't live up to his namesake and gets a nasty beating. And just as soon as he shows up and thrashes Invincible, he teleports away with disgust, stating that this is a pathetic waste of his time. Now what's truly important to understand about Battle Beast is that he's not necessarily a villain, even though he's kind of introduced as one. But as the story goes on, he ends up becoming one of Invincible's greatest allies. But even in that, he's not really a quote unquote hero, because he's really just going along with whatever plans take him to the next fight. And that next fight could very well be the best fight I've ever read in comics. Yes, he ends up going toe to toe with the Emperor of the Viltrumite Empire. And this is Thrag. And he is the meanest, prettiest, and baddest man in the universe. Show enough. And Thrag has one goal, and that's complete universal domination. But do keep in mind that Invincible just happens to be the first Viltrumite to openly rebel against the Emperor. And when Thrag and Battle Beast finally get to go toe to toe in a fair fight, it is a classic battle of the immovable object versus the irresistible force. And from what I've seen from the Amazon animated series, the retelling is going to be huge. And I promise I'm not trying to be that nerd, shoving his glasses up the bridge of his nose, saying, excuse me, sir, the books were better. <laughs> but really, I'm not trying to be that guy. And to be honest, there has been several changes from the comic to the animated adaptation. But what's unique about this retelling is that Amazon partnered with the original writer and creator, Robert Kirkman. And the series just shines as one of the best comic to animation adaptations I've seen in a long while. So here we have Thrag, the Viltrumite Emperor versus Thok, AKA Battle Beast, the Scourge of the Twin Galaxies. With the stage set, the players ready, and this nerd can't wait to see it. Friends, thank you again for watching. Your support makes this channel possible. So if you haven't already, scroll on down, hit that subscribe, turn on those notifications, and leave a comment. Let me know what kind of characters or fandom you want to see drawn, and I will talk to you again soon.